high. So we have one more example. So first, let's read the statement. The statement says, the perimeter of a parallelogram is 60 centimeters and the ratio between the adjacent sides is 3 is to 2. If the altitude corresponding to the larger side of the parallelogram is 5 cm, find the area of the parallelogram and the altitude corresponding to the smaller side. So this seems to be a longer problem. Never mind, we'll solve it. So what they say? They say there is a parallelogram. So let's assume that this is the parallelogram. In a parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. So this will be parallel to this and equal and this side will be equal to this side, right? So the fact given to us is the perimeter of a parallelogram is 60 centimeters and the ratio between adjacent sides is 3 is to 2. What does it mean? If we call it side 1 and this as side 2, they are saying S1 by S2 is 3 by 2, right? And this means if we assume S1 as 3x, S2 will be 2x, right? So if this is 3x, This will also be 3x and if this is 2x, this will also be 2x, right? And what they are saying? They are saying the perimeter of the parallelogram is 60 centimeters. So what is the perimeter? Perimeter is actually the boundary of the parallelogram. That means if I start from this point and walk along the boundary of the parallelogram, the length I travel will be the perimeter, right? So from here till here, if I cover 3x distance, from here till here it will be 2x and from this point to this point, again it will be 3x. And this distance will be 2x. So if I start from this point and travel along the boundary, the distance traveled by me will be this. And what they are saying, this is equal to 60 centimeters. Right? Yes. So we have reached one equation. And if we add all the like terms on the left hand side we will get 3 plus 2 5 plus 3 8 plus 2 10 x is equal to 60 or we can say we have got x is equal to 6 centimeters right so if x is 6 centimeter this length will be equal to 6 3 is 18 centimeters and this will be equal to 6 multiplied by 2, that is 12 centimeters. Right? So we have found the lengths of the sides of a parallelogram. Right? Since this is 12, this will also be 12 centimeters. And since this is 18 centimeters, this will also be 18 centimeters. Right? So we have found the sides of the parallelogram and we are given. If the altitude corresponding to the larger side of the parallelogram is 5 centimeters, which is the larger side? Larger side is this, which is 18 centimeter length. So if I draw a perpendicular from this point till this line, what they are saying? The length of this perpendicular is 5 centimeters. So this they are saying is 5 centimeters. What we have to find? We have to find the area of the parallelogram and we also have to find the length of the altitude corresponding to the smaller side. That means we also have to find this length, right? 
from here till here. So first let's recall the formula for the area of a parallelogram. Area of a parallelogram is equal to length of the parallel side which is L multiplied by the height or the altitude right so if I take this longer side 18 height we are given as 5 right and since we are talking about the same parallelogram and then if we take the length of the smaller side which is 12 and if we assume the length of the altitude corresponding to the smaller side as a both the areas will be same why because we are talking about the same parallelogram in one case we are taking the longer side as the base and in the second case we are taking the smaller side as the base right and we are given the altitude corresponding to the longer side as 5 centimeters and we have to find the altitude corresponding to the smaller side and that we have assumed as a right so if we rearrange the terms we will get a is equal to 18 multiplied by 5 divided by 12 6 to the 12 6 3 the 18 2 1 the 2 2 1 the 2 point 5 so this is equal to 1.5 multiplied by 5 and this will be equal to 5 5 the 25 2 carried forward 5 1 the 5 plus 2 is 7 and we have a decimal so the altitude corresponding to the smaller side will be 7.5 centimeters right and what will be the area area was 18 multiplied by 5 which will be equal to 5 8 of 40 0 4 carried forward 5 1 the 5 plus 4 9 so the area will be 90 centimeter square so what we have found we have found the length of this altitude corresponding to the smaller side this is 7.5 centimeters and we have also found the area which is 90 centimeter square right so these are two desired results